So this is not the best controller for the new Chromecast with Google TV. I mean, it's a bit fiddly, it's extremely slippery. It does not have dedicated buttons for play, pause, forward and rewind, which means if you want to use things like a virtual mouse, there's no way for us to actually activate that. So what can we do? Well, the Fire Stick remote control is one of my all time favorite remote controls. It feels really nice in the hand. Of course, it's got those dedicated buttons for play, pause, forward and rewind, and you can easily pair this to the new Chromecast and all of these features will work except the voice control. So what can we do about that? Well, this, in my opinion, is the best remote control you can use on the new Chromecast. I mean, as you guys will probably know, this is the new Shield 2019 remote control. Feels really nice in the hand. It has a backlight. Everything works perfectly fine on the Chromecast. You've got the play button there. So if I'm in any application, like for example, the Aurora store, if I double press the play button, and that brings up a fully working virtual cursor. And lastly, I can also press this. What's the weather in London? And the voice search is working absolutely fine. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also pair up a brand new Nvidia Shield controller onto your new Chromecast. And I'll also show you how you can install a virtual mouse toggle. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you okay so let me show you how you can pair up a brand new controller first then i'll take you through the steps on how you can actually configure a virtual mouse toggle so the first thing we need to do is to go over to settings now quick tip here guys the quickest way to get to your settings dialog is you hold the home key for a second and that takes you straight to the settings dialog. So I can now click on settings, scroll down, click on remotes and accessories. And here before you click on pair new remote or accessory, you wanna make sure that your controller is in pairing mode. And the way we do that on the Nvidia Shield controller is you hold the home and the back keys together. So let's press those down now. I can click on pair remote accessory. There we see the Shield remote control. Let's click on that. And I should then establish a partnership between the Chromecast and the NVIDIA Shield remote control. That's now paired. I can now press the back button on the remote. And that's working great, guys. So that's how easy it is to pair your NVIDIA Shield controller onto the new Chromecast. I can press the voice search button, open YouTube. Okay, thank you very much. Voice control is working great. So let's now go ahead and configure that virtual mouse toggle. So let's press the home key. And if you go to my website, go to tutorials, you'll see there is a dedicated tutorial for Nvidia Shield and Android TV hidden features. And in fact, all of these will actually work on the brand new Chromecast with Google TV. Let's scroll down and let's see what happens when we install the mouse toggle for Android TV. Let's click on that, scroll down and click on the green download button. Let's click on install, let's click on done. Once you install that software, let's go to applications, click on all apps, and the application we're looking for is called the mouse toggle for Android TV. Let's open that up. So the first time you start, you'll get this message here because it doesn't have permissions to run on your device. I can now click on okay. Let's press the home key again. Let's navigate to settings. And as we know, if we hold down the home key, that's the easiest way to get to the settings. So let's open that up, go to system, Go to accessibility, let's scroll down, and here we should see a service for mouse toggle. There it is. I can now click on that, click on enable, click on okay, and then we can see straight away that the mouse toggle is enabled. Let me press the home key again. So for example, let's open up the Aurora store, which is a great application, which will give you access to the entire Play Store. So not just applications limited to Android TV, through this Aurora store, we can configure it so you can access all of the applications on the Play Store. So let's open that up and let's click on Anonymous. We are now logged in, but these applications are actually specifically designed for Android TV because by default, when your device makes a connection to the Google Play Store, because your device presents its device ID, the Google Play Store then shows applications based on that device ID. So in the case of my device, it's going to show Android TV applications only. So how can we fix that? Well, if you go over to your settings, uh, let's bring up the virtual mouse again. And let's go to the hamburger menu. 
and we can see we have a spoof feature. So I can now click on that. And we can see by default, it has correctly detected my device is a Google Codename Sabrina. I can now click on spoof device. So here, for example, I can actually scroll down with the virtual mouse, but if I turn the mouse off by pressing the home key once, I can now just press down on the remote. And let's just go for a pixel. We get the message that this will be applied when you restart the application. And let's press the back button. Let's now log off. Okay, let's stop the application. Let's go back into the application. And I'm hoping now we're going to see a different set of applications. Okay, so I'm not actually seeing any extra applications because normally once you enable the spoofing, you get to see um, applications like, you know, WhatsApp or Instagram or TikTok or the stuff that you normally wouldn't see on an Android TV device. And let's go to search. Let's see if that's working. And let's just search for Instagram. And there we are, guys. So these applications, which are typically not available for Android TV devices, Using the Aurora store, we can now spoof our device and get access to the entire Play Store. So I really do think that the Aurora store is one of the best applications for Android TV devices because it gives you the unlimited full access to that Google Play Store. Let's press the home key. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for alternative remote controls with full functionality, including virtual mouse and of course the voice toggle. And this remote control, guys, really does tick all of those boxes. It does cost about 25 pounds from Nvidia, but I do think it's a good investment and it definitely will improve your overall experience with the new Chromecast. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.